Majeski had his run for a $20,000 plus dollar payday. If he could pull it off. Whoa, zero to the back bumper. They crash in turn four. Oh, my. Best is best, and the best are here. Send them up in style. Up on your seat, up on your feet. Stand and wave and make some noise. You know what time it is. It is late model showtime. Nothing quite like it. It's down to this, 200 laps to decide the champion for 2023, the Oktoberfest 200. To the green flag comes Fredrickson and Sire Kesky. We're green. Johnny Sauter around Dan Fredrickson. It looked like Dan just kind of let him go. So Ty Majeski goes 11th, making short order of this field. Whoa, we got one in the wall, the 93, Dylan Hammond. The tires and off. They're oh, they're swapping laps. Okay, here we go. There's yes. strategy number one playing out of the many things <laughs> on the list of what could be done during this 200 lapper. The blue and white number 80 of Ryan Farrell now getting challenged to the inside for fifth by Ty Majeski in the Kafka Granite number 91 Ford. The number 119 of Dalton Zier just did that, and as he makes his way down the back stretch, he's got a five car length build bulge now over Dan Fredrickson. He moved past him as well for second. They've got it figured out today. That car's a rocket ship, but Dalton Zier dive bombs it down into corner number three on the inside. Once again, he drifts high. Best run for Zier. Might have cost them both a little bit of time chasing up the racetrack, but Zier leads with 55 to go here at Lacrosse. We talked about caution, Jim, and here it is. Winding up to the top gear in turn number four. Here comes Zier, high off of turn number four, almost into Sauter, three wide of the line. Majeski, can he make the inside work? Can he go from third to first and take the lead? Majeski has the crowd on their feet here, Lacrosse. He leads for the first time today, late in the going. Majeski had his run for a $20,000 plus dollar payday. If he could pull it off. Oh, Zier to the back bumper, they crash in turn four. Oh, my. Johnny, Johnny Sauter's off the pace. Five. He's off the pace. Sauter off the pace. Big change of events here. The front row moves up one as Sauter continues yellow. to try to find speed. Holy cow. Gabe Summers. What a gift that was. Can he cap off a championship season with a victory here with the 14-year-old that is outside? Up in corner number four, back to green for the final stretch at Oktoberfest. Gabe Summers up the back straight away. He is your 2023 ASA Midwest Tour champion. He's off a of turn four. He's an Oktoberfest champion. Gabe Summers wins at Fest. He proved it again today. This team is championship worthy and a champion at Oktoberfest for Gabe Summers. Turning it down on the front stretch. <laughs> this is a quiet young man. You don't see a lot of emotion out of him. Right there, I think it's the most emotion that I've seen out of the driver of that 15 machine. That was a heck of a burnout. He's out of the car! He's Yeah, we've been on the other end of it a lot of times this year, and uh, it feels good sitting there in third and seeing what happened there. It just uh, it means a lot to me and my team. Uh, it just got to have a little luck once in a while, and uh, we finally got some.